the Disney Corporation in, in Florida and the governor over there, uh, Ron DeSantis, how they've been going back and forth at it in court. Recently, a video claims Disney cannot obey Florida law. It's owned by the British Crown. As Disney blocks Ron DeSantis Florida power play with a royal family clause. A new video that has been viewed hundreds of thousands of times and has more than 40,000 likes claims that Disney is exempt from American and Florida laws because the company is in fact owned by the British royal family. The video posted on Instagram claims that since 1960 Disney has not paid any federal or state taxes as being owned by the royals make it tax exempt. The video also claims this is only coming to light now because of Disney's lawsuit against Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Disney is only now revealing its actual ownership because Governor DeSantis has changed Florida law to strip Disney of its own self-governing district and replace it with the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District. The video claims that Disney only now reveals its true ownership in legal documents. According to Disney fanatics, this is false, saying, first of all, Disney is not owned by the British royal family. That claim should be obvious, but here we are. The British royal family mainly owns land and lots of it. Disney did pay taxes. In Florida, Disney paid more than $1.1 billion in state and local taxes in 2022, making it one of the largest taxpayers in the state of Disney. Also paid state taxes in California and federal taxes. Despite what the video says, Disney and its visitors are subject to all Florida and United States laws. The information in the video is entirely false and lacks the authority to comment on the story. Disney's only connection with the king is England and Epcot, and some of its movies happen to be set there. Forget about Disney princesses. Mickey Mouse might have just proved who's the real king of Florida. The Walt Disney Company used a legal clause that named checks King Charles III to apparently thwart Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' attempt to strip the company of its self-governance power in the state. For nearly a year, state legislators encouraged by DeSantis have sought to ex exert more control over the company's Florida-based theme parks by passing a bill that would dissolve Disney's special tax district. DeSantis also wanted to rename the area the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District and plant a new board of supervisors to oversee it. Until recently, there had been no major public discussion about dissolving Disney's long-established special district, which it's occupied for 55 years, leading the DeSantis critics to question its timing and the speed at which the governor acted against the company. As part of a 30-year development agreement, Disney no longer needs board's approval to build the high-density projects or buildings of any height and can sell or assign development rights. It also bans the board from using Disney's names or any of its characters. The agreement includes a royal clause that dates back to 1692 in Britain and would extend its term limit for decades. The declaration shall continue in effect until 21 years after the death of the last survivor of the descendants of King Charles III, King of England, living as of the date of the declaration. The document said this kind of clause is most often used in the UK, typically when it comes to trust and provides a buffer against perpetuities. So as long as one of those grandchildren makes it to 80, this clause would be there for 100 years, explained Robert Lord, senior advisor on tax policy at Progressive Group Patriotic Millionaires. DeSantis replaced all of the Disney allied board members with five Republicans on February 27th. It was only then that Disney's new binding agreement was discovered. 
The clause was so obscure that several journalists who attended the February 8th meeting apparently didn't pick up on it. This essentially makes Disney the government. Ron Perry, one of the new board members appointed to the CFTOD by DeSantis, said at the February 27th meeting, This board loses for practical purposes the majority of its ability to do anything beyond maintain the roads and maintain basic infrastructure. This, that type of Im information that never comes out or would have never came out if it weren't for Florida Governor Rand DeSantis going after Disney. I don't think people realize the, the way life really works and the clauses and contracts that govern our life, the spells they put on us. The British crown is known to have ruled many, many parts of the world and still do to this day. Many of it's private and people do not know of it, such as this Disney that's going on. Some people say a big portion of our taxes still go to the British crown. Some call it a conspiracy, but is it? What are your thoughts and opinions? Drop them in the comments. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Much love, peace, blessings, and much gratitude.